All right. You are painting the roof of a boathouse. You are painting the roof of a boathouse. You are going to place the base of the ladder 12 feet from the boathouse. How tall does the ladder need to be to reach the roof? So, if you don't know how to draw a house, you do a square, and then you do a triangle connecting up top, and look, you got your nice little house. Here's my little door, and then we could draw some windows. It's not that deep. Okay, so you are painting the roof, right? So we're painting this part. We are placing the base of the ladder. So the base means the bottom, right? So here is my ladder. And we they're saying this part right here is 12 feet. And then they're saying the house itself, right? The house itself is 35 feet. And they're asking for what does the ladder need to be in order for it to be high enough to reach the top, right? So this, again, is that real world Pythagorean theorem. So where is your right angle? It is here. So if I go across, my ladder is my C. So we should have 35 squared plus 12 squared, and then we're going to equal that to c squared, right? We're going to try to figure that out. So 35 squared, I have no idea what that is. That's a very big number. 1,225. 12 squared we know. And then obviously we're solving for c, so there's that. So the first two we are given it, we are seeing if they're right angles. This one we're actually solving. So 1,225 plus 144. 1368, and then we're going to take the square root of that, and, oh, I put in the wrong number, oopsies. Let's round it and call the ladder how tall? If we round this, what are we going to call the ladder? Oopsies, sorry. What would you round that to? The nearest whole number, right? Because you can't buy. 37. So 37 feet is how tall our ladder needs to be. 37 feet. All right. For four, I actually think you can do four, but we need to remind you of a couple things first. Do you remember learning your compass rows? Your compass rows look something like this, right? Do you remember what goes up top here? North, east, south, west. Never eat soggy waffles. Never eat soggy waffles. So if we are Neville, right, we're starting here. We run north 12 miles, and then we run east 5 miles. So what they're saying is what is the shortest distance? They want him then to cut across and come back to where he started. Where is our right angle? Here. I want you to solve that. I want you to solve that. Welcome back. We should have had 12 squared plus 5 squared. That should have equaled our C. 144 plus 25. That's 169. Take the square root, and our C should be 13 miles. Okay? Which you may say, well, Ms. Sherman, that's farther. But technically, right, if he went back his same way, he would be doing 17 because he went 12 and then 5 for a total of 17. So he's saying, I'm tired now. I want to go back. Who wants to run that far? That's a whole other issue. Okay? All right, I'm going to read this one to you, and then I want you to see if you can try it. The television is identified by the diangular measurement of the screen. So not the length and the width, but the diagonal. Fun fact. Television has a 65-inch screen whose height is 34 inches. What is the length of the television? I want you to try that and then come back and see.